YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on uh, Friday afternoon at 16.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time uh, on February 17th, 2017. It's been kind of an interesting uh, evening, day thus far. Uh, let's talk with the part of the day that was very interesting. Um, I got this notification from YouTube. Hi, Joe Kersey. Uh, you know, it talks about, oh, you submitted this video for monetization. Now, you understand, this was a video I, I put up in June, I think it was June 2nd, but in June, in any, in any case, of 2016, uh, during the eminent domain road construction that you can see the results of, or hear the results of, off to the side. We did not approve your video for monetization because the content in your video may not be advertiser friendly. Well, I thought, well, hell, you know, I, I didn't think I was swearing that much back in June of 2016, but maybe I was. So I, I went back and I thought it, you'd see this, I'd find this video laced with swearing here and swearing there. And, maybe making some lewd innuendos about sexual things, et cetera, et cetera. No! Not one swear word, not one sexual reference, not one double entendre. The name of the video is Abutments and Rocks and Taxes on the Move. Well, this was when they were shifting the traffic over from the newly constructed traffic over to, to the newly constructed roadway from the old roadway in order to tear out the old roadway. And then I just got some, you know, tax information about my property, real estate taxes. And the abutments are just the, uh, you know, the barriers that they shift around. No swearing, no sex, may not be advertiser friendly. Well, hell, maybe advertiser friendly means they want to have swearing and sex. In any case, I stopped monetizing my videos back just before I left for England last September. So, okay, but we'll file that under life's rich tapestry of irony and non sequiturs and bizarreties and puzzlements and whys. Now, yesterday I got a, uh, a, an alumni magazine from my medical school alumni association, or, well, not from the medical school alumni association per se, but just from the part of the Ohio State University Alumni Association that uh, deals with medical school thing. And uh, much to my surprise, on one full page of this thing, uh, there was an entreaty uh, to donate money to uh, oh, I hate I hate this phrase, but I gotta use it to be honest. LG the LGBT the LGBT Leadership Scholarship Fund in Medicine. Well, that covers a lot of waterfront. Basically, it means they're offering scholarships for gay medical students. Yeah, they might be LBT too. I 
in any case, um, I was surprised. I thought, well, I'd like to donate to that. Uh, and I, I went to the link they got, which I'll put in the little box here on the description. Uh, and uh, I got in there immediately, and then I wanted to look around, and then, of course, I couldn't get back to that original thing. What I was able to do, though, was I was able to donate to the College of Agriculture Scholarship Fund, uh, the Agriculture Alumni Society Scholarship, in memory of my dad, Joe S. Kersey, uh, who graduated from Ohio State uh, College of Agriculture in uh, 1932. And, of course, as I had mentioned, taught vocational agriculture for 30 years in Lebanon, Ohio, until they discontinued the program, and then they taught an additional 10 years in Lebanon. Um, I've always wanted to be able, ideally I wanted to be able to establish a fully funded scholarship where the, in, you know, the interest off of the money would provide about $1,000 in scholarships, maybe $300, $400 scholarships for a couple of people, a couple of three people uh, in the College of Agriculture. Ideally those going into vocational, you know, agriculture education. The egg, as it is commonly known. And I just, I just couldn't swing that amount. But, uh, I can do these thousand dollar pops from time to time. So I did that in memory of my dad. I was able to do that last night and then uh, this morning I tried again on the LGBT thing and uh, I was able to donate to that fund as well. Uh, and I donated that in memory of uh, all of those, all those who had to hide in the closet and live a lie. All those who had to live in the closet, who had to hide in the closet and live a lie. And, uh, you know, that would have, I can only imagine what difference it would have had in my life had such a thing been around when I was going to school then. One thing for sure is uh, <laughs> my son and grandson wouldn't exist and that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Careful what choices you make. Sometimes the really seemingly nasty at the time choices lead to a good end, end game as it has in my case. Anyway, I was able to donate some money to that too. Now, okay, uh, last night I had a brief Skype session with a friend of mine, which was fun. No, it wasn't that kind of Skype session. We were talking about ideas and things. But today is so wonderful. You got, look, it's, it's almost 60. In some places it is 60. Uh, no wind. It's just been beautiful today. Uh, and it's going to stay that way. It looks looks like through Tuesday here, so we're getting another, at least, better part of three days of this, so it'll be great. Yeah. So, last night I stayed up and I, you know, after this Skype thing, I got looking around on actual television. I ended up watching, like, some of these old TV things like Perry Mason, which is always great fun. Yes, Mr. Mason. And, uh, 
I'm still, uh, I can still feel myself sort of going through this whole process of uh, Paul and me not being together anymore, or him not living here anymore. Just like when the dog died, I'll, you know, my body will tell me when that's over. And over yet. So I'll say bye-bye, YouTube.